which just shows how old this game is, the fact that they're using megabytes, they should be using gigabytes. But that's okay. It's a it's an older game back in like where computers were still trying to get decent. And we've got mail. Now this mail says we've got mail. <laughs> yeah. We got an email that says we've got an email. All right, let's go check our mailbox because checking our mailbox wasn't good enough. Hello there. Let's take a look. And this is Meilu. Everyone's lonely and she's going to give us something uh, that we need. We are going to get Roll R. No, we don't want Jack out. I want to put Roll into our folder. Uh, let's see. You know what? I'm going to get rid of... Hmm... Oh, these air shots suck. So I'm going to get rid of an air shot. I'll definitely have to keep retooling my folder, mostly just because your folder, if you get it so that like it's all like Unicode, it just becomes an absolute beast of a folder, and you can just shred viruses no problemo. Okay, um... Okay, here we go. Fire punch! Poof! All right. So, I think now's a good of time, good as time as any that I'll be talking about the program advance because it just showed up. Three chips together in a sequential order, and you get something like this. Now it's 300 damage, but I multiplied it by two, so it's 600 damage. Giga cannon spreads uh, across whatever it hits, so. Yeah, it's a really good good thing to have. Now then, in this area, we've got someone. Uh, not here. In this area, you can find Blast Man. Uh, but as I was saying earlier, I think now's as good a time as any for me to go over the upload schedule for this project. Um... Yeah, about that, I'm probably going to be doing bulk recordings and then cutting them up into about 10 to 15 minute uh, videos, which I'll then be uploading to YouTube, mostly because the longer videos are just absolutely horrendous, especially on my internet. Alright, off we go. And he's not there. So, uh, all right, <laughs> if you wanted to give me that, A, B, C. Now, I'm going to have to be kind of jerry-rigging these guys a bit. I'm going to need you to come up here, and I'm going to need you to step in the middle. Boom! There we go. Reflector 1. Uh, okay, so we need the key item, the graffiti. There's a picture of a navvy digging a hole at a place on a wide green road where there's a shadow. Okay, so that's like right here. And since we can't move, there's something here. And that would be the key. Yep. So with that, we can get into Central Area 3. But of course, not before fighting our new arch rival. Oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> okay, if they're going to be generous with this. Makes my life a whole heck of a lot easier. Uh, but as for the upload schedule, um, I think I'll definitely try to get maybe a video out every day. <laughs> Alright. Let's start with a program advance that he cannot dodge and will do like half of his life. Basically, Blast Man is a little faster, a little harder to dodge, but he is the same old Blast Man. Punch! 
So yeah, look for something maybe every day. Uh, I'll definitely try to get something out every day. Oh, uh, and I'm I'm a little nervous about a setting a specific time. Yeah, so he's not he's not slow enough for me to uh, get a a sword off. So we'll just sit right here. I will try to uh, get the part out for seven o'clock in the evening. Now. I am a little nervous about saying that because I know you guys will hold that hold me to that. And with certain events coming up, I'm not sure if I can stick to that schedule, but I will do my darndest to make sure that I do stick to that schedule because I do want to do this game because it's a fun game and I want to share it with you guys. Yep, there's his fire tornado. But we've essentially got one free shot. Alright. Punch! Punch! Well, thank goodness we got that free shot. Bet I'll need it later. But at the beginning of the game, this guy can definitely be a damage sponge. There we go! But that doesn't matter. We beat him in a minute 20. And for our trouble, we get Blast Man B. Let's put him in our folder because we will eventually be using him. Eh, whatever. As for that, we will now be grabbing the screen mystery data. Got a couple hundred zennies, and we can open the door. Yay, the door's open! I can check out this hole. That's yeah, some hole. Welcome to Central Area 3. So yeah, let's go take a look around. We got some green mystery data here. And we got a big stairway. With a blue mystery data up here. We got ourselves a high cannon. Uh, you can, you can, again, you can get the, uh, program advance with high cannons, but for that, I'm gonna need more high cannons. Okay, and I guess with that, I'm pretty much done talking about the upload schedule. Fingers crossed, every night at 7. Tune in. Again, I'm not 100% sure if I can exactly stick to that schedule, so... It is probably in your best interest to hit that subscribe button as well as the bell icon because, again, I might screw up the schedule due to other stuff and I really don't want you guys missing out. Okay, uh... Huh. Okay. Zap. Alright, with that, let's focus on getting this uh, green mystery data. It could be a whole bunch of awesome stuff. Now, I, I can't remember which... I think it was Battle Network 4, but... I think it was Shade Man. You had to fight Shade Man. Uh, and there's a mystery data that we need to get. And if you could make a green mystery data survive, you got like a rare chip from him. These two beasts were not friendly to each other, rather, they fought each other over and over again. They fought each other fiercely and greatly changed the face of the net. People feared these two beasts and called them Psy Beasts. One of the Psy Beasts was shaped like a giant wolf, Psy Beast Gregor, or Gregor. Its roar was enough to cause the whole net to shake, and it devoured many navvies with its sharp fangs. The other Psy Beast was a giant bird-like beast, Psy Beast Falzar. With its huge wings, it scattered objects all over the net, and with its razor-sharp claws, it shredded up many programs. This is where the two Psy Beasts' reign of terror ended, where they fought each other to the end. The, cha er, the chasm, here is where they lay. 
The bottom of the pit is known as the underground. It is said that even now the Psy Beasts are sleeping there. Ooh, mysterious. The legendary Psy Beasts. Hmm. I guess they have a legend about them in this area of the net. Yeah? The giant pit's right there. Sounds real interesting, huh, Lan? Yeah, it sounds like the net is full of these mysteries. That's so cool. And it's time for bed. Okay, so with that, it is the end of our day. However, we can look around a bit. Alright, actually, I might as well show off Blast Man. I summon him, and he will call a fireball down every single row. And do 120 damage her a uh, fireball and yeah there's a suspicious navy hmm? there's a Christmas tree here so we can't go that way and it looks like there's a leak we can't move forward there so that's pretty much everything uh, how much money do we have we don't have any money with that we're going to jack out I'm going to call a part right here. Uh, yeah, I'll do my best to kind of uh, jerry-rig all these parts together so you get some decent-sized videos. Uh, again, in my next part, I will have to have made a decision, so you guys will have had to made a, make a decision which version you want me to go through with as the main version. Cybeast Gregor, or Gregor, or Gregor, or Saibis Falzar, which one do you want to go with? I will await your response in the comments, and in the next part, we will see a whichever version you guys picked. So, with that, I shall bid you adieu. Farewell. Bye-bye.